Hi, I'm Bethany Fridgen. I'm a forensic chemist, and I'm here to talk about how to become a forensic investigator. In the past few years, it's been common for most crime scene investigators to go through law enforcement training and become law enforcement officers in order to investigate crime scenes. However, in the most recent years, law enforcement agencies are turning to civilians to take on those positions. They're doing this because civilians can focus in that area and become highly specialized in that crime scene investigation and the examination of their evidence. Most law enforcement agencies require that a forensic investigator have a, at minimum an associate's degree in criminal justice or a science. However, because of the popularity of this field, it is important to think about how to become more competitive in order to get one of these jobs. Obtaining a bachelor's degree it will make you more competitive, especially if you pursue a degree in a science such as chemistry, physics, or biology. Some people even obtain their master's degree before they apply to this job. Once you obtain a job as a crime scene investigator, you will be going to various types of crime scenes such as breaking and enterings, burglaries, robberies, assaults, and even homicide scenes. With all of these scenes, you need to develop your skills in such a way that you can collect and preserve that evidence properly and then be able to come back to the laboratory and analyze it or be able to determine which laboratory you should send it to for analysis. These are just some tips on how to become a forensic investigator.